Every year, like clockwork, here in Happy Valley, us longtime locals prepare for one thing, tailgate. Even if you're not a fan of football, it's hard not to get caught up in the excitement. It might be fall, but around this town, everybody's got spring in their step. Join me right here at the stovetop and at my oven today while I show you how to make my house special honey mustard barbecue sauce along with my method for broiling and baking spare ribs for tailgate. Let me start by saying that everything that goes into a dry rub or a wet mop for doing ribs on the barbecue grill goes into my honey mustard barbecue sauce. I do this because ribs that are cooked in the oven do not cook properly if they get sauced, well, dry rubbed or wet mopped prior to going in the oven. My method says make the sauce first and sauce the ribs last. I'm going to start with a cup and a half of mustard, yellow ballpark. Get it all in there. Got a cup of honey. Honey mustard. I've got a mixture here of molasses, chipotle hot sauce. Oh, that smells fantastic. And apple cider vinegar is in this too. A quarter cup of brown sugar. And a lot of spices. Chili powder, garlic powder, smoked pap paprika, turmeric for a pretty color, and chili powder and chipotle pepper. I'm going to bring this over medium high. I'm going to whisk it constantly. I'm going to bring this to a simmer and I'm going to let it simmer for about five minutes and that's it. Oh my goodness, I love this barbecue sauce. It's my favorite recipe. That's been about four and a half minutes. It's all smooth and aromatic. And I'm just going to turn the heat off on this, put a lid on it, and set this aside while we season our ribs. Every grill master, including my husband, son, cousin, and next door neighbor, has their own method for cooking the perfect rack of ribs out on the barbecue grill. My method breaks every rule in their big, beautiful barbecue book in the sky. What I'm going to start by doing is just seasoning all of these ribs generously with coarse ground sea salt. Coarse, coarse salt is best, sea or kosher. I'm, going, I'm starting on the underside of the ribs. And then I'm going to season the top again with coarse ground peppercorn blend. This is a blend of five different types of peppercorns. I'm just going to pop these under the broiler for 18 to 20 minutes. Then I'm going to flip them over and do the same thing on the second side. It's been 18 minutes on the first side. They're all golden brown and sizzling. I'm going to find a place to stick a fork in between the ribs and flip them over on their second side. I'm going to liberally season them again. Lots of sea salt or kosher salt and lots more of that pepper corn blend. Lots and lots and lots and lots. And I'm going to put these back under the broiler for another 18 to 20 minutes. I 
I've taken my ribs out of the broiler and I flipped them over quickly and painted them on the bottom side with a light coating of my barbecue sauce. And now I'm painting them on the top side with a light coating of my barbecue sauce. We don't want to put too much on these. Just a nice light painting of sauce on the outside. Oh, they look gorgeous. Don't they look gorgeous? And now I'm going to uh, cover this pan with aluminum foil and pop these in a 350 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. For fair weather tailgaters and cooks who entertain stadium goers in their kitchens before and after Nittany Lion games, I hope you'll put this recipe in your back pocket and give it a try this season. After all, we're all Penn State cooks. For these and all of my recipes, just go to my website.